All right. What is going on today, YouTube? I'm going to go back to a normal normal Death Shadow deck. I think I'm going to play this in the challenge this weekend. Um, updated a couple cards, cut an Abrupt Decay, and played a Terminate, and moved an Abrupt Decay to the sideboard and cut the Fatal Push from there. Basically doing that just because I think I want another card for the Hollow One deck, as I think that is, under the radar, one of the better decks in the format. Um... Got my music going. And I just want. I might. I might put another terminate in, and I'll probably cut like a switch a removal spell for it. Probably one of these right here. One of these six. I'll keep my one of decay in the deck. Um, but I also added. I played with the last league. I played a mountain, and I cut the mountain, and I added a blood crypt because I just was drawing too many uh, basics, and I couldn't do myself enough damage. And then we're still trying out the Anger of the Gods plus Nine Hill Spell Bomb um, in the sideboard today. I think I'm going to start bringing all of these in against the Hollow One deck. And then cutting my Blood Braid Elves and bringing in my Counter Spells. So I think I'm going to start sideboarding against the Hollow One deck like this. Some, some number of these cards. I don't know what I'm going to take out yet, but I think that's what we're doing. But let's just jump right into it. Get into another league and play some magic on this great morning. Coffee's brewing. What more do we need? Edited modern five Mac league. Yeah, I went three and two last night with uh, with some really cool pyromancer death shadow deck. <clears throat> Whether it's good or not, I don't really actually know. It was definitely a hoop. Like, deck was just like 48 cards, and the faith had the faithless lootings and the pyromancers for the. I, I had a lot of fun. I can't, I'm not gonna. I, I think it's probably worse than what I'm playing right now, but was definitely a mega fan of the deck and was glad that I played it. <coughs> All right, sounds great. Mulligans. There's nothing more that I like to do than thought sees my opponent through a mulligan. <coughs> okay, we're gonna have to go pedal to the middle, and that's that's how we do it. <coughs> so we're gonna have turn two double death shadow. <coughs> this is a matchup where we're a little hurt by playing blood red elves in the main deck and not counter spells. Oh, I should have bobbled. All right, so. This is really annoying. I think I'm actually going to take this Lightning Bolt and then try to deal with this Blood Red Elf later. Because I just, I want to be able to go Double Shadow. And I should have sequenced, right? We're a little early this morning. I want to be able to sequence, like, I want to be able to get two Death Shadows down. I think it's worth leaving them with this Elf, especially when they don't have any acceleration. Because we're theoretically going to be able to clock them at least twice, I think, before this Elf comes into play. Well, once, and then we might have, all of our stuff could be larger. I'm just going to crack this now. They're probably going to shuffle this kind of way. Alright, that's good. So now both of our shadows are larger than Elf, and we can kill the Elf after it comes down. What I'm more worried about is if it cascades into, like, Steve, that's going to be annoying. But we're going to get in a shot for at least eight next turn um yeah we're gonna shot in so they, they shuffle this away hey how's it going oh they drew a bolt that sucks that's gonna definitely make this game a little bit harder for the home team here well that was a good draw so we know they're actually we actually know their whole hand Okay, so now, time to just go get an elf. How are you this morning, you, Yuya Taliba? Is that, how, is that how I say that? I'm just gonna uh, just shortcut this, cause I'm still not all the way awake. Get another shadow. So depending on how my opponent Fetch layer, fetches here. 
It also depends on what I draw, because I can actually kill this Blood Bright Elf next turn, and then I can swing for 14. So I basically can render this useless. Search for tomorrow, okay. So I turn off, I'm gonna cut off their fetch land. Puppy's over there eating lunch, tweaking out. Alright, that's not what we're looking for. Um, I don't know, I'm not gonna need this Inquisition, so I might as well go escalate two modes, minus two, minus two. So I just have to basically dodge Titan next turn. I've got and I cut off this fetch line. So actually they're just dead. Because they can't they can't go a land that doesn't do damage themselves into Titan. So yeah, we're good. Crack that fetch line. Go out on your own terms, man. I respect this guy. I'm gonna get some more. I'm gonna get coffee while I sideboard here, but we're cutting all of our we're cutting our grindy cards. This bug red elf we don't need. DK we don't need. Push we don't need. Fall we don't need any of these terminates or K commands, we'll see what to bring in. I want the brutalities, I want the rages, and I want the denials. And I'm gonna go. I'm going to cut the Terminate and keep uh, Colgon's Command because if a Primeval Titan resolved, it's more than likely the damage has been done. And K Command might be able to squeeze me into a spot where I like, can set up something next turn. <clears throat> or like ditch their last card. We actually can cut a land too. So I can actually go Blood Crypt and keep the Terminate just to hedge against that. Yeah, we're going to go like this. And Actually, I'm not cutting this. I'm cutting the Forest. Submit and I'll be right back. All right, Philly, you're full. Go eat, buddy. Um... My opponent Mulligan and I have a redraw at a couple lands and two thought seasons. I think I'm gonna keep this hand. Like I definitely could get wrecked in this game, but <clears throat> if my my opponent's going to oh, they're going just going to six, they're crying. No, they're going to five. Jesus, that's rough. Okay, land great. So this is gonna get overgrown tomb. Put a card on top also. Alright, we're gonna get Steve out of here because Steve can block. And then I'll thought season's probably will tighten later. We wanna get down our we wanna get our Tarmo if you have next turn. Over anything else, pretty much. I'll probably go, I might Brutality next turn, ditching this Lightning Bolt. Okay, never mind. Take this Titan. Not the Baloth. I'm just gonna Lightning Bolt them. Grows my Tarmogoyf. And then lets me get Delirium to traverse for Death Shadow. Bayloth's annoying. Obviously, Bayloth is often kind of small while against these Death Shadow decks, though. Like, you just go way over the top of it, <coughs> and the life. Like, it's a speed bump, but it doesn't. I don't think it actually impacts the game overly well. Okay. Alright, that's good. 
draw. So I actually can now. Let's do that next time. I think I can actually like almost kill my opponent next turn. Go seven, eleven. Nah, because if I if I go gain and drain, it actually makes my death shadow small. Steve. Battle Rage. Alright. Um. I guess I'm just not worried about this. I'm gonna escalate with two modes. Like we're just gonna beat over the top of this thing. Other brutality. Hopefully, hit like a scape shift. That's what we're really worried about here. Prime time would suck. No, it's Tyler's tracker. Okay. So, I've only got my opponent blocks this death shadow because they don't want to take 4 million points of damage. If they don't, I'm just going to fetch shock. I'm still going to fetch shock. I want my other Death Shadow to be large. Get this just in case. So my opponent can't Titan me next turn. And they need to produce another blocker or they dobs. <coughs> so this is where I got the first match in the books. Okay. What? Touch your library for a basic land card. Put on the little attack. Okay, create an 01 token. That gives my opponent a turn. I could win them the game because. Yeah, I totally could win my opponent the game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I guess it doesn't really win them the game because Primeval Titan doesn't even kill me through an activation. So I'm going to play this so that my opponent has to block. They had to block both my shadows anyway. I, did, I shouldn't have played that. Because they block like one shadow, Goyf. I guess they could go. They have to block two at three of my creatures, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> That's an interesting cascade target. So now I'm pretty sure we kill them through a Titan. And they've only got six lands, so they can't. Like, either they get Valakut land. Yeah, we, we're, they're just dead. They could elf into more turns. Okay. Lightning Bolt kills me. No, oh, alright. So that gives him another blocker, so that lets him live another turn. Because this they cast this, get their blocker. And now and now they're live for escape shift or tighten off the top. <clears throat> so you like a battle rage. Battle rage right there. Battle Rage on that. Attack. And that's a good way to start the day, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Back into the next one. Not yours already. I hope everyone's having a good morning, getting going, or I guess evening if you're in the Am I on am I on EU time? Are the are the Europeans like is this like prime European watching stream? I know Dave C streams at this point usually. Fellow fellow card hoarder, fellow card hoarder guy. I'm pretty excited to have today off, which is nice. Stream a little bit in the morning, then go walk my dog and then stream while he sleeps and stream this afternoon. Ugh. I would like to play first. I think I'm gonna keep this in. This is certainly not great. This is why I cut down on the mountain, because these basics are not super great to draw. They're they're nice to traverse for. But they're not very good draws. I'm just gonna F6. I don't wanna fetch yet. Colonnade. 
Colonnade. Alright, well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play this time wave and hopefully it doesn't get lightning bolted. Oh, well, actually, I, got, I, got, I should have got an Overground Tomb so I have green sources. Flooded Strand. Alright, well, sweet. Cast this before we get before we do anything with our Tomo Wife. I wouldn't mind this Coif getting path right here. Oh wow. Yeah, that's quite the hand. Um I think I'm just gonna take this cryptic. If they path my Tomo Wife, I don't really I'm not really worried about it. They're probably just gonna sphere my Tomo Wife, to be honest. This is going to be a slog. Are they going to path it? Sick. Or are they just getting a tap land? Yeah. I need a land next turn in order to get my Death Shadow into play. Blue Delta. At least this bolt can take care of a Jace. Alright. Reverse for a swap, play the swap. We're at like a point where if we cast Bloodbraid Elf, it is kind of dangerous. So here comes Jace. So we can actually kill Jace even if it pluses. He's gonna bring his one down. Okay. We're gonna get Jace off the battlefield because I don't I don't really think that I wanna cast Blood Raid Elf next turn. Terminus. That makes sense. So that that's that terminus. And then end of turn. Okay, so we're gonna elf next turn. So we're gonna flooded strand. I think I'm gonna shock myself and have them. No, I'm just gonna Blood Bright Elf. Like, let's just hope we don't hit a Death Shadow. We got everything else covered. We just don't wanna hit a Shadow. Okay. Get this into play. Attack with my 3 2. It sucks that we don't have another land to search for. Because this is going to get pathed, more than likely. They might just go land terminus. Depends on what they have going on with their mana base. West Alliance, okay. Oh wow, he chose to gain four life, that's awesome. Crack this bobble. So we still have path, path, terminus. So like, our double death shadows are struggling a little bit. We're going to definitely, like, we're going to need Blood Red Elf to carry us here. Another colonnade coming. Island. Okay. All right. Here we go. Come in with colonnade. Cycle. So do I take the two for one from this to this terminus? Probably not. I think I'm just gonna go like this. I just wanna kinda grind them down a resource. We can deal with these colonnades. As long as we don't get jaced out of this game, we're good. And we're gonna start being able to blood right off them for days. So, god damn it. Red, green, there we go. We don't have any bad hits. Discard's good. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to get rid of this Terminus. We are going to get a little low off of this Colonnade here. But we can deal with the first Colonnade and deal with the second Colonnade. So like next turn, I'll play Death Shadow, pass, push a Colonnade. And then after that, I will play another Death Shadow and then terminate a Colonnade. That's interesting. That's interesting. Path. Okay, so 
So here it goes firing out. There's another colonnade. I mean, these colonnades are a little dangerous, but like we got the first two covered. All right, that's not a bad draw either. Because it's just going to help us with that mana situation. this Death Shadow 2. So now they have enough mana to like get a counter spell into play but beginning of combat. Get that off. Hopefully they didn't draw like a leak or anything. It appears they drew a mana leak. Oh that sucks. Now What a draw. What a draw from the opponent. All right, uh, we want the last elf. We want another last hope. We want a decay. Don't want my stubs. Want some brutalities. And these spell bombs are like, maybe, but these decks usually don't rely on Snapcast to rage that much. Uh, we can cut the Terminate. Cut like a Street Wraith. We can cut a... Traverse because they're going to be. We can cut a traverse because they're going to be messing with our graveyard. Probably don't need four brutalities and. Inquisition's only all right, so we'll get rid of that. That sucked that they drew that there, but. We were totally, we were going to take that game over there. Like, we, we would have only, like, in a perfect world, we'd only had Blood Raid Elf against Colonnade. Because they'd have had, they'd have Blood Raid versus Colonnade. They had one card, which is the Mana Leak, that we didn't know about, versus our hand, which was pretty good. Hand's a little slow, but I'm going to keep it. We get a Scry. But, um, I lost my train of thought. I'm gonna lead. I'm gonna see what they do on turn one before I scry. Um, versus like our five cards in hand, which one of them's a K command. Collective brutality. I don't think. I don't think I want a brutality. I think we're gonna be just curving out here. I'm looking for lands. Looking for lands or like cheap spells to supplement my hand here. Okay, so that's like a cheap spell, and that's a land. So now, go get Stomping Ground, play this Tarmogoyf. <clears throat> We're not gonna have any time for these discard spells, we're just curving out. Search for his content, all right. Traverse. I think I'm going to discard the Traverse. Because this is likely going to be live longer. This Traverse is not live at this point. Let's see if they discard. Okay, we've got a 4 5 Tumble Boys coming in hot. And I don't know if I'm going to play Blood Right Elf because. That does kind of set me up. The Field of Ruin is annoying, but we have it. We have another red source, so we're good. Am I going to like? I think I'm just going to run it out anyways, because we're just putting the squeeze on them. And like, even if they deal with the board, this Liliana is going to be really good. Yeah. Now, now that we have a Death Shadow, I think we're just definitely going to run out of this. Blood Red Elf. Like we just have we just have a lot left over. Do 
this card. Oh, this was bad. I, I should have not done it like this. I should have. Because I was worried about I should have just cast it. Because, like, they can put something into play to. I guess they're not going to necessarily block it, but. Yeah, that wasn't that great. Bang. That makes our Tarmogoyf massive. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. Snapcaster opt. Okay, so now they block my. Block this. If there's a pause, we knew they drew a miracle. They put a card on top. They could they could get something like a um like Jace kind of stabilizes the board here. They go land Jace, but then we... Oh, they just took it. Okay. They're trying to hit this Liliana, it looks like. Or they're going to hit the Liliana and wrap the board. Time of reinforcements. Okay. So they missed on a land drop. All right, we're just going to hope there's no wrath. They'd have to go land Wrath, which would leave them with two cards versus our active Liliana. They need to draw the land, so. Let me go see my puppy. Hey, what are you doing over here? We are like walking right into a sweeper here, but we got a sweeper plus Liliana. And if it's a terminus, then our opponent's still not drawing a land. Now we actually have Traverse for Bloodbraid Elf online, which is pretty sweet, pretty swanky. Uh, Fro Daddy eight seven eight zero. If you're still in the chat, I appreciate you. Uh, appreciate the follow. I would have kept. I might have kept like this Death Shadow in my hand. If I didn't have this Liliana, but like I really want to get this fifth land down because we have three traverses we can hit. And if we hit these traverses, then it lets us go traverse for Bloodlight Elf. I don't understand why. My opponent's probably thinking whether they should trade with the Elf, chump here, or just go chump chump to try to like save their life longer. And I think they should just go chump chump. I don't think that they're... Unless they have a Jace. If they have a Jace, they should just try to get the board as clean as possible. I think. Like, if they have a Jace, they should just go chump, chump, take five, play Jace, bounce something. Which is, like, puts us still in a pretty scary spot. Excuse me. Okay, so this does you think, I don't think they have a, I don't think they have a Jace, or they're just making, like, a poor block. I, th I think, I think you had a better block the other way. Because now... If you play Jason Bounce, Detention Sphere, what do we got? You taking my Liliana? You taking her? Are you taking her from me? Jerk. I'm gonna leave this fetch land for now. Sad draw. So we're in a point, we're getting to a territory of this game where we could be in quite a bit of trouble. Like if my opponent wraths the board or has a Jace, um, do I want to deal... I guess this makes it so that my Death Shadow is lethal next turn. We're dead in two to the Colonnade, but like, such is life. Draw a stat, they're gonna turn me. Oh, gross. Okay. There's the Terminus, they're not drawing a land. Any order. And then they don't have really have any more plays. Because of how their mana base is. We have Bloodbraid Elf now. 
You got a field to ruin me? Or you have another time to reinforce for this? Okay, I'm gonna go get a black source, I think. Yeah, we have plenty of green. What are you doing? What are you doing, puppy? Alright, it's not bad. It's not good, but at least it's a breach. Let's just deal with the Jace. Just one for one. We're running out of resources, though. We need... Um, I'm actually just going to escalate with two modes. Because now if I draw another Brutality, it's lethal. Okay. All right, we need some action quick. All right, uh, bolt my opponent. Okay, this. Tick up. Alright, so at least this is some action, but again, my opponent's one land away from being able to start smacking us with this colonnade. Right, one, two, three, four. So don't draw land. We can't really beat spells either. Yeah, we're in a t we're in a pretty tough spot. Okay, so you're gonna fire up the colonnade. We do have some draws here. That is not one of them. All right, well, they got us. They got us. And that was a really good game. That was like a back and forth game there. Like each one of us had some decisions. They got the Terminus there. The first game sucked. Like I was just like, oh, man, you hit that mana leak. So we were like, we were just miles ahead and then you got the leak. But what are you gonna do? Viewers, I hope everyone's having a good morning this morning. I'm gonna watch some some Death Shadow Jund here. We're currently one and one in our league. Sad. The 48 card deck. It was a lot of fun. I d I went three and two, and and had had a lot of fun. I beat up on. I beat a Jun deck, I beat a Mardu Pyromancer deck, I beat uh, Abzan Company deck, I lost to Ponza, and then I lost to Gabe Nassif, and he was playing that, whatever it is, that uh, Bant Ramp deck that, what's his name, played at the Mox. I like the deck, I don't know how good it is, but it definitely has like a really good engine, you know? Like it was very consistent, good engine. Oh, playing as Jabberwocky. Mr. Mox himself. I'm going to mulligan his hand. His hand is no good. His hand's not very good either, but I'm going to keep it. This is the bottom. The games are currently on YouTube. Lisa MTG. Something that I've been finding is that... That's a not a bad draw. Is that all of these Traverse decks, like, they just go way over the top of um of these other fair decks because you have more copies of the cards that matter in the late game than they do. So I'm in a lot of trouble now because they're gonna get a bob down. So I need to draw a removal spell quickly. And then they're still gonna be able to K command the bob back. That's pretty slow, but so I hopefully hopefully we get a little and I can hit here. Alright, didn't do it. So we're we're in some trouble. And they have a command. They have a Blood Braid Elf. 
I'm just going to take the command because the command gets the Blood Red Elf back. And then we're not going to play this um, Death Shadow in the face of a Lightning Bolt. It reveals trolls. Uh, what are you doing to me, man? Now I have two creatures that are like must kills. Play out my death shadow. Then pass. We had some good tools. I, mean, I think we're I think we're gonna do okay in our matchup. We just like mulligan into a two speller. But you gonna bolt me. I'm just gonna eat this bob. Make his bob big. So he looks like he's gonna pulse me, attack me for six minimum. He drew a land, it's a tap land. Alright, get this into play tapped. There's the pulse. Probably plays his tap land. He's got even a lightning bolt to deal with my blood red elf. There's a rage right there. Okay, so I can go pulse. Traverse for death shadow. So no, I actually have to go push this. Traverse for death shadow. then hope that he can't animate this and kill me. But then what does Blood Red Elf do? Blood Red Elf puts me to one. But then I'm just dead to the Lightning Bolt. All right, well, we're gonna go, we're gonna go get a Death Shadow. Play this tapped. And if he just like gets aggressive and puts me to one, I can actually kill him. Because I just like play my own elf. But if he hits like a removal spell, okay, it's Tom Wood, gross. Well, he actually might just now attack with both. Yeah, there's no need to do that, I don't think. I need a Blood Red Elf. Okay. Oh, he just animates Treetop. Block, 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 pull me. Yeah. Yep, he's got it. Okay, so after sideboard, I want this Decay, I want an Elf. And I want these three, and I actually like boarding out some street raids because the games do go long. I like leaving brutality in just because it answers dark confidant, and that's that's like that's the easiest way we lose these games, and that's what happened in that matchup. So I could bring in spellbomb because it cycles, but like it's not super great against Jund. It's much better against like Abzan. Hey Chopa, thank you very much for the subscription, my friend. I'm sorry, I keep my I keep my volume down because it messes with my YouTube videos. But enjoy your emotes. And I appreciate that. Get the old Philly dog, the Philly dog emote. What a guy. Give me that Amazon Prime cash. Alright, this hand's pretty good. Keep this. We got plenty of ways to deal with Bob. And I'm going to go Bobble, and then I'm going to pass Scry on his turn. There's no need to do this on my turn. He 
Yeah, I like another time of life. Just another thing. Okay, that's a good draw too. Overgrown tomb. Nice thing is that if Jabberwocky plays a Tarmogoyf, I can attack into their Tarmogoyf and then kill it. I'm just gonna attack, and if he doesn't do anything, I'm gonna play another Tarmogoyf. Because this will become a 3-4 with two damage on it. Oh, uh, let me go to the stream decker. Hang on. All right, that's okay. I actually think I'm gonna play another time of life. I don't want to get got by like a Liliana this turn, because if he just goes, if I like kill his and then he Liliana edicts me, then he's on a um. Then he's on a new, or he's he's got like board advantage. I'm not really doing anything. Yeah, so let me just dex upload new browse. BBE shadow. Okay, and set his current. All right, stream decker's updated. The stream decker is updated. So I can do the same shenanigans, but I can't, I probably just have to abrupt decay this because now I can't use the brutality. Yeah, so let's just go abrupt decay. Now you can go like, and again, he can do that play that we were talking about, but at least we can K command a Goyf back. Returns Tom Goyf makes me discard a card. I'll ditch this Brutality. It's kind of a weak K command from our opponents. Not a fan of me. I played a Battle of Reveler deck last night at Chopa. It's on my YouTube there. I, I was a fan. I liked uh, I liked it a lot. Deck had a good engine. All right, give me a Liliana. So we didn't Blood Red Elf. Land. Nice. So now this goes and gets Godless Shrine. No, it doesn't get Godless Shrine. It gets Stomping Ground. him for 12. Not going to add anything to the board. I think they played a Damnation at the box. Push, okay. So this is going to be a pretty good Blood Bright Elf turn. If he's got it. But he didn't Blood Bright Elf last turn when he had double Tarmogoyf in play. So I think they would have had to just draw on the Blood Bright Elf. Then I can do something like ditch my thought sees, K command back a Tarmogoyf, play Tarmogoyf Death Shadow next turn, and then have a Liliana Edict. So, like, I've got a lot of plays here. Maybe go get some more coffee, I'll be right back. Card spell is good. Probably takes command, if I had to assume. I don't know, though. If he takes command, then I have a super efficient turn next turn. 
because I could have a pretty weak. If, I could have a weak. If he has like a scavenging ooze here, then he kind of stumps me a little bit. Like scavenging ooze would be very annoying. It's a tough decision, I think, because, like, if you take Death Shadow, then there's the Command. If you leave me, if you take Command, then I have a really good turn next turn. Potential to just dump my whole hand and interact with you. If you take my Thought Seize, then I kind of clunky turn unless I draw a land. So, he's got, it, it's a tough, a tough decision, for sure. If he take, leaves me with Command, he's actually dead unless he has a blocker. Okay, so he takes command. So now he's dead to a removal spell. Scavenging is tough. And he looks like he has to chump with it unless he's got a removal spell. Punished for getting the black source. So now I'm just going to attack. Attack first. He probably just goes like eat, eat, go to one. And then he's like priced into attacking this Liliana. I could also just not use the Liliana. Like, I could just use a discard spell. I could play two shadows, tick up, and then have two two lethal threats on board. I think I'm gonna do that. But even if he bolts one, he then has to rip because of the Liliana. Like, the scavenging is, is going to become a problem. Like, he's got three green sources, so he can gain one more piece of life. So he still needs to find a removal spell or a way to interact with the board, add to the board next turn. <clears throat> Not super sure on this play. I think I could have done, I could have played this a little. Uh, first of all, I just got was stupid by fetching the stomping ground. I just wanted another red source, but I forgot that I have a Blood Crypt. So I should have gone and got either Blood Crypt or Overgrown Tomb because of how black this deck is. There's no more creatures in the graveyard. All right, so do I block or do I let this go? I think I'm gonna block because this means he either has a damnation, two removal spells and we deal with this, or he's got a creature. And if he has a creature and then we eat it, we still get this scavenging who's off the board because he needs to block the Tarmaloid. So I think I'm gonna block this. And if he's got a Wrath, then I'm gonna to want to have the Liliana in play anyways. All right, so we bolt one, eats. 
eats all right that was that was sad so I'm just gonna eat this anyways well We get the scavenging use off the board. Okay. I got punished by not fetching all the right black sources there. I'm just going to send it back. On the draw, do I want to change anything? I don't think so. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I have fifteen answers for Bob in my deck. So. I just don't want to get bobbed out of this game. That's the easiest way to lose. Oh, I think I'm going to keep. Hand's pretty good. I really don't want to mulligan against these, these Jun decks, and at least we're not going to get Thought Seized on one, so. And we have Lay of the Land. Great. That was an absolutely amazing draw. So I'm going to lead off with this. Bobble. I'm probably going to bobble on their turn, because he might have left in discard. It doesn't appear that they did. All right, we're going to get this Goyf out of here. Here comes the Scoos. We're gonna bolt the Scoos. Okay, that's good. Then we're gonna be able to start K commanding, which is nice. That actually is gonna give us Delirium also. So we got all our lands. So the question is, what am I traversing for? I think I'm just going to traverse for a Bloodbraid Elf and then just start K-commanding everything that he does to try to get these Bloodbraid Elves out of his hand. Just tax his mana base. But the game is going to go long. And I can return like Street Wraith for value. And if he just has land Bloodbraid Elf, then we can at least start to answer it. Here, oh, is he gonna elf on an open board? Okay, what do you got? There, Mr. Nettles. Liliana of the Veil. Okay. So that's gone. If he goes up, he actually discards a card. We get either a terminate, and then we get to command this and then discard. They go down to one card. And then if it's the elf, then we're just gonna like, okay, so we're gonna ditch our land. Okay, so we've got elf, terminate. So honestly, I might just go bing, bing. Like I might just go shock upstairs, upstairs here. Target creature discards a card. Target player discards a card. I can just get rid of his elf and his Liliana. I think I've got to do that. 
It does suck not being able to kick command back these awesome spells, but I do just kind of like leave him with nothing. He can crack me for six, but I get to elf also this turn. I'm just gonna get this tapped, get an overgrown tomb. Okay, so we have no bad hits. Besides, discard spells aren't very good. Traverse cast, go get another Bloodbright Elf. And are we attacking? I don't think I'm attacking. I think we're going to play it slow here. Just block. I think I'm in the driver's seat right now. And I don't want to get like hit for five, go down to four, go down to hit for five, go to six, go to five. Oh, he drew a K command, he's telling me. Okay, so now he's going to crack me for six. I get to elf again. It's a scavenging ooze. Okay. Okay, so he's got a green source app, which kind of sucks. So, okay, we're going to fetch. Get an overgrown tomb. So now he's got, I need to like, yeah, I'm in a lot of trouble now. We're going to start off by going like this. So I'm still, I'm still just dead on the board. Block, block, fires this up. Block, get this, block, block. All right, we're gonna make him do it. I probably could have held that land just to discard a brutality to gain life. Man, this was close. Maybe I should have saved, but like we didn't have time to save our commands to deal with these elves. Oh, we had another elf coming. That was close. That was close. And again, like, we were in it the first second two games, and I think I just mull I mulliganed into a hand and got bobbed, and that's the best way to lose this matchup, to just get bobbed. Like, and that's how it goes sometimes. So, 18 people. I appreciate everyone showing up and hanging out. Uh, my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm part of the Card Hoarder Network. I'm sponsored by Gamer Craze, which is a store in upstate New York where I learned to play Magic. They have uh, great prices. Um, they foster like a college environment, so they're very competitive. Um, Card Hoarder is a really, is like, also sponsor this stream. You should check them out, they're the best blockchain in the business. And then YouTube and Twitter. I always archive all my stuff on YouTube, so just check that out. That's the best way to support me, just a subscription on YouTube. And if you like talking about Magic, I love playing on Twitter. I love I love talking about it. Um, get in here.
Alright, we're gonna we'll play Sounds good. Sounds good. We can we can play ourselves a Death Shadow game. So we're gonna do a scry, see what we want. We turn one delirium, which is kinda sweet. Blood Crypt. I don't think we want Blood Crypt right now. We're, we're looking to be we're looking to be a little bit lower to the game, lower to the ground here. Okay. Totally we're not playing against like burn. Burn would suck. Oh, we're playing against lantern. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this EE, play Death Shadow, hit the bridge. I could actually. Okay, so Inventor's Fair picks this. I could actually. Oh, that's a really good draw. So, now shot. Inquisition. Take an Ancient Stirrings. Play a Death Shadow. It's kind of not neat that we do have four points of reach. So if I can get my opponent to like a re and we have like lightning bolts in our deck. So if I can get my opponent to a reasonable life total, I am gonna be able to like do some I am gonna be able to do some damage. But like I if I get if I can get my opponent low enough, I can Oh my gosh, they drew a brutality. Jesus, that is so Oh, that was so bad. And maybe for that exact reason, I could have just thought seized and not done it like that. So that, that's probably, I probably just tossed that one. That was all my fault. All right, bring in these stubs. I don't like the fatal pushes or the terminates. The collective brutalities aren't great. I actually think the, the battle rages might just be better than the brutalities. I'm gonna board out the forest. I'm gonna bring in the Luliana really last hope. Last hope's actually not bad at fighting lantern locks. Like you just minus it, and then you can get back your street rates. Alright, opponent's got the 61 card heater. Alright, we'll keep this. Land. All right, we'll put that on top also. So I think I want to get Watery Grave. I usually don't do this, but... Okay, so... Mission Bottle, Mission Bottle, Lantern of Insight, Ancient Stir. To take his ancient stirrings. Like lantern, I think I don't know if it's right to take that or lantern. Ancient stirrings is just such a great cantrip. Okay, Pixis, Bobble, Bobble. Land. Oh yeah. So I'm actually I'm gonna get a green land because Abrupt Decay is like a very good draw for us. For me. Exile the card, and they bobble. So they bobble that. Oh, that's nice. That's neat. They bobble themselves, right? Yeah. I can respect a good bobble trick. I love me a good bobble trick. Play a turn. Okay, knew about that. Battle Rage. All right, so let's just hope that he doesn't have mana source. The mana source is right there, so. My opponent's actually dead next turn. If they're last, if they don't have an ensnaring bridge, then they're dead. So this is just kind of like a hope they don't have it kind of scenario. And if they do, they do. if they do, then we're just gonna go play the next league. The fact they didn't 
mill themselves more than likely means they have it. Gross. So they have two mill rocks. Oh, gross. Man, it has just been the one, one dagger of a league. Want to get two fetch lands in play because they have two mill rocks. I'm going to shuffle that away. Come on. All right. We are good. We are good. I don't need to play this game any longer. I don't need to play this any longer. Rough league. We'll drop and join another one here. Join league. Okay. I'm actually going to stop my recording here. And I'm going to go take my 